Google Keep versus Google Task, which is the best productivity app. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to make a comparison review between Google Keep and Google Task. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So basically, Google Keep and Google Task are both productivity tools developed by Google, but they have different functionalities and are designed to cater to distinct organizational needs. And now, let's start first by knowing this Google Task platform. So basically, Google Task is a simple, straightforward task management application developed by Google, which is designed to help users create to-do lists, manage tasks, and stay organized. And some of the features that these Google Tasks provide including simplicity, integration with Google services, to-do lists, task details, cross-platform availability, synchronization, and integration with Google Workspace. And now, let's say we want to create a task under this card by clicking at the task button. It will show you below here the field, which is to enter the title of your task, while below is the details of it. And aside from that, by simply clicking these three dots, it will enable you to edit, add a subtask, duplicate the task, or even delete this task. And now by clicking these details, let's say I'm going to enter here, do laundry. And also below here, you can also add calendar, add label, but make sure that you also use a premium account to access the task labels. And aside from that, from here, you could also attach an attachment or file from your computer or you can allow Taskboard to open your Google Drive. Now going back to this page right here, let's say we want to add a schedule or calendar for this task. By clicking on it, it will show you the calendar, and all you need to do is to select the date that you want to schedule this task. And aside from that, if you also want to add subtask, you can do so by simply clicking these three dots, then just click Add a Subtask. And below here, you can do the same process, which is by entering the details and also the title of the specific task. Then below, you could also start again by navigating some of the icons such as to add a calendar or schedule this task, add the labels and even make or attach a files from your Google Drive. And also to customize this card of task by clicking these three dots, it will show you some of these options including to custom order, due date, alphabetical, latest update, rename the list, share list, set the color, and many more. So for instance, we're going to rename this list by simply clicking this button. From here, all you need to do is to enter the name of this list that you prefer. So for example, I'm going to enter here, to-do list. And if you also want to access some other option by clicking the settings option on the top right corner, it will enable you to see some other details including to install desktop app, install Chrome extension, enable dark team, start week on Sunday, enable sound effects, show task count, send feedback, and even help option. And aside from that, you could also navigate on the top right corner. By clicking this icon, you will be able to start arranging the list of your main board to make it horizontal view or even vertical view. Now moving on to the other platform is Google Keep. So basically, Google Keep is a note-taking and organization application developed by Google in which it serves as a versatile tool for creating and storing various types of notes, checklists, images, voice memos, and many more. And some of the features that this platform provides including note-taking, organization, integration with Google services, collaboration, reminders and notifications, cross-platform availability, and also search functionality. And also, Google Keep offers a user-friendly intuitive interface, making it popular choice for individuals and teams looking for a simple yet powerful note-taking and organization tool. And now you will see here on the left side panel some of the options that you can start navigating starting from notes, reminders, edit labels, archive, and trash. And by clicking edit labels, it will show you a pop-up window and all you need to do is to enter the name of your label in here and proceed by clicking done button to proceed. Well, you could also navigate the archive in which it will show you the list of your archive notes. While under this trash option, it will enable you to see some of the tasks that you have been recently deleted. And now, to start creating notes, just click this notes option on the left side panel. And from here, just simply click this one in order to start taking notes. And as you can see, you can start taking notes by entering the context and even change or customize the title of this note. 
So for instance, I'm going to enter here the title Project 1. And below here, you can even access the reminder in order to remind you for tomorrow, next week. And you can even pick a date and pick a place. And from here, you could also collaborate by simply entering or inviting your friends by entering their email address in here. And if you also want to customize your background, you could also do so by simply changing or selecting the specific background that you prefer in here. And also the color of it. And now, after customizing the design and the content, from here, if you scroll down, it will show you below here the note that we just been created. And by clicking these three dots, it will show you additional options such as to delete this note, add label, add drawing, make a copy, show checkboxes, and many more. And to pin this note, just click this icon right here. And after that, it will show you, if you go back in here, that your note has been pinned. And if you also want to customize your dashboard of keep note, by clicking the settings, you could also enable the dark theme and even change the list view or the arrangement of your notes on your dashboard. So basically, Google Keep has its interface of posit board format with colorful notes and checklists, and it offers a date and time reminders that send browser notifications. And also in terms of integration, Google Keep is available as standalone web app and a Chrome extension, in which it also allows sharing and editing notes with other users that is suitable for creating notes, adding media, and organizing tasks with labels and hashtags. While on the other hand, Google Task also has an interface that is minimalist design with one to-do list at a time. But in terms of type of reminders, both of them had date and time reminders that show up on Google Calendar. While in terms of integration, Google Task available in the toolbar of Google Calendar and Gmail. But in terms of collaboration option, it does not provide or offer a collaboration features. However, it is also suitable for creating simple and focused to-do lists with subtasks and stars. Now moving on to the other uses of this Google Task and Google Keep is on Gmail. So as you can see on your email inboxes, on the right side panel, you will be able to see on this slide the Google Task and Google Keep. And by simply clicking on it, it will open the slide bar. And let's say you want to add a Google Task, an email. So let's say I'm going to choose this one and drag it in our Google Task. And as you can see, I've now added this email in our Google task. And to add more details, below here, you can simply click this one and start adding or typing the context that you prefer. And since it is an invoice from PayPal, I'm going to under here, need to pay. And also, you could even select a date or specific time you want this task to choose. And after successfully adding the email on our Google task, if you go to the dashboard of your Google task, you will be able to see here the email that you just add to your Google task. Now going back in here, you could also navigate the Google Keep by simply clicking on it. It will open on the right side panel. So let's say we want to add a note from this email. So kindly select an email that you want. And after that, just proceed by clicking take a note button in here and it will automatically show you that your email has been attached in our new note. And for the details of it, I'm just going to paste this one in here then for the title, I'm just going to enter Creative Market, since this email is from Creative Market Platform. And now, by simply clicking this done, it will show you that we have now successfully added or created a note using our email. And you will also see here the attach email that included on this note. And aside from that, you could also navigate the Google Keep and Google Task on Google Calendar. From here, by simply navigating on the right side panel, or the slide by simply opening the Google Task or Google Keep, you can start adding a task or notes and set a reminder using Google Calendar by selecting the date and time in here, in which that is both applicable for Google Keep and Google Task. So basically, Google Keep and Google Task serve different purposes, and the choice between the two depends on personal preferences and needs. Since Google Keep is more focused on creating and organizing notes, including checklists, and quick capture, making it suitable for general note-taking and idea jotting. On the other hand, Google Task is specifically designed for task management, making it better choice for those who need a tool to help them achieve their goals. So that is just a comparison review between Google Keep and Google Task. Thank you.